Morning. I was worried about you. Good. I'm glad you came out, Deb. I got I got Debbie with me today. All of a sudden it was ten minutes. Morning. Have a good Easter. You need a mask on. Do you have one? Okay. Good. Morning. Happy Easter. Oh yeah, park looks great. This is where we'll be having our Easter services. I totally forgot to put an Easter invitation in every bag today. Morning. I wanted to have that. Morning. Yeah, I know. I'm the worst. What can you say? Good morning. If you're watching this, remember that this old man forgot to invite everyone to Easter. <laughs> have a great Easter. Have a fantastic yeah, Easter. Good. Yeah, good morning. morning. I was going to say, you could, um, you could probably have had really quick. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Happy Easter. I'm going to go ahead and go into the office. You're going to zip in the cut short way here. Morning. There's Ken covering the back of the line. There's Pastor Ken. Morning. Happy Easter. Morning. Okay, see you inside. Let me see it. Kiss on the mask. Morning. My wife. <laughs> Want to make sure they don't think that preacher he kisses everyone around here. Morning. 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 Happy Easter. Happy Easter. I'm like the worst evangelist on the planet Earth. Morning. I meant to have an advertisement put in each bag letting people know they're welcome to come to church here for Easter. And totally forgot. <laughs> Morning. Morning, happy Easter. We try every morning. We try our best not to do any kind of advertising for the church and the food stuff. So morning, so people don't feel like they need to come to church here to to get food. Morning, you guys. Happy Easter. They'll take the cart up ahead. So I usually do the walkthrough from starting at the back. So I'll make one quick walk through again. Church, Bill, take care of the lawn. <laughs> Teresa came in and mowed the lawn with her tractor this week. I think Teresa being um, retired is getting bored. Morning, how are you? Happy Easter. Morning. So we were out to the corner now. This is how quickly the line moves that it's going now. And Everything's cooking. One of the really cool things we got this week that I would have ordered way more of had I known how nice they were was these beautiful pork roast. All wrapped in string and all can probably eight or ten dollars each and we got them for I think 19 cents a pound. So what a gift and I ended up ordering like 10 boxes so we ended up getting like 40 of them. But I would have ordered 50 boxes had I known how nice they were going to be. So much of this stuff, when we order them, I have no idea what it's going to look like. We don't get to see it ahead of time. It's just written on a list, a vague description, and then ends up being something either A, a hundred times more beautiful than anything we anticipated, or B, something we totally um, are struggling to figure out how to give away. So both issues happen it's all a blessing and i'm sure some people look at the stuff and think i cannot believe i got this beautiful pork roast and other people look at it and say why are they giving me a pork roast this isn't kosher so it's all um both directions we'll be having easter services out here in the park at 10 a.m this sunday since i forgot to put a flyer in everyone's um food bag that's where it'll be going on you're invited to come out and be a part Obviously, lots of social distancing. If you want to stay in your car, you can park your car out there and listen in your car. It'll also be live on Facebook. So you can listen to that. Bill Outlet's in our gardener. He's got the well water going nonstop. And so that's good. And so Ruth is up here being that spark of love today. Pray for Ruth. Ruth comes in contact with every single person. She's the one who sees every single person, so. And anytime 
you would like to come and volunteer we've got I think three or four new volunteers today you are welcome we could use you pastor Ken is here working his wife Trish is here with us today which is awesome Debbie's here today we were saying we got a full house so all of this is very cool last week Teresa was working and got bumped and injured so we kind of gave a special lecture on not doing that as people are moving back and forth here are the guys resupplying the line with all the food everything's kept in refrigerators till the absolute last minute look at these box of oranges aren't those absolutely gorgeous someone's going to take that home that's very cool oh go ahead so all of this happening people walking up to walk up to avoid the drive through line walking them to their car totally cheating so God's good life's good you're invited to be a part anytime you would like to you could call Marty say Marty how can I help and Marty will let you know how you can help and how you can be a part of everything happening here in the exciting stuff at Central Community on Tuesdays on Wednesdays we actually have a food pickup again tomorrow on Thursday and we often have one on Friday and on Saturday as well there is always something for you to do so that all of this can happen on Wednesdays God bless you I hope wherever you're at you have an absolutely fantastic Easter and if you're not going to church someplace come on out Central Community we're out during the park socially distanced safe outside you are invited to the crazy church that gives away food um, like there's no end to those who need it. God bless you. Thank you so much to those of you who support this.